Like all relationships, the relationship between the brand and its customers exists on a continuum. The weakest relationships are ruptured, while the strongest are unbreakable. Most of today's brands were once hyper-conscious of the customer, determined to build unbreakable relationships. But with growth comes pressure. Other issues distract leadership. Priorities change. It's a natural response to the challenges of adapting to a competitive marketplace, but it takes its toll. In its pursuit of other priorities, customer relationships weaken, and over time, the brand loses the knowledge necessary to effectively align its actions with the customer's wants, needs, and desires. CX transformation reorients the brand's priorities, so it more closely aligns with the customer's wants, needs, and desires. As transformation takes place, customer relationships deepen, then revenue and profits grow. CX transformation is a five-level reorientation process. At each new level, priorities come into closer alignment and relationships deepen as brands move closer once again to establishing an unbreakable bond with customers. At level one, the mandate is to lay the groundwork for successful CX transformation, or CXT. As you go through the steps, you'll discover that this involves setting benchmarks and expectations, as well as aligning goals. Level two, learning. Now that the C-suite is aligned and focused on launching CX transformation, you can begin to turn abstraction into action. At level two, you'll designate the post-sales support department as the launching pad for CX transformation efforts. You'll build the team that will drive CXT. You'll activate operational improvements. Essentially at level two, you'll lay the foundations for current and future CX transformation efforts. Level 3. Expanding. After focusing on post-sales at Level 2, it's now time to expand by integrating pre-sales, sales and marketing departments, into CXT efforts. Combined, pre-sales and post-sales have all the key points of the brand-customer interaction covered. And by the time you complete Level 3, the brand will have a significantly deeper knowledge of the customer. Level 4. Advancing. Level 4 is at the tipping point in your brand's CX transformation journey. All the work you've done up to this point has been in preparation for what lies ahead. You've laid the groundwork, embedded core behaviors, catalyzed a cultural shift, built viable systems, all in an effort to make your organization more customer-centric. Now it's time to get more sophisticated. It's time to invest in technology to facilitate the integration of the entire organization into the process. It's time to align digital transformation and CX transformation efforts. Level five, leading. Ah, level five, you're there. You have accumulated a wealth of customer knowledge. You've shared it far and wide with your employees and they're integrating it into the brand's decisions and actions at an unprecedented rate. Level five is a different beast. It's no longer prescriptive. It's time now to prioritize and choose the best path forward based on your extensive customer knowledge in order to position the brand for present and future success. Brands at the highest level of CX transformation are rewarded for their achievement. They report significant differences between themselves and other brands in key areas, including revenue, profits, and efficiency. 88% of these brands report that their annual revenue growth rate is above industry average, and 84% report that their net profit margin is above industry average. This clearly demonstrates that building an unbreakable bond with customers will deliver tangible financial rewards. To learn more about CX transformation, visit onrcx.com or follow the link in the description.